Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Very well. Um, people, of course, this is not BBC news pitching, but how how comfortable you do to talk in pitching? No, more does not for English. No, I think do for pitching as well. <laughs> okay, okay, we will do it for pitching. I mean, the biggest story now waiting happened yesterday. How you feel about the events we happen for October twenty for Lagos and across Nigeria? Well, I hear small about them, um, but I mean, uh, the small why here alone. I mean, uh, a really, really bad thing that happened for for our country. Uh, you know, our country now one of the biggest country. You know, not just for Africa, but for the whole world. You know, we 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 know say our country, um, our people. We need change now. You know, the change don't time don't reach where we supposed to get change. You know, the youth they cry for 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 change. Everybody they cry for change, and I think time don't reach way where we where we need change for our for you know for our talk. Um, and what thing happened yesterday? I mean, I know if it, I know if it even I don't get words to describe to the kill innocent people uh, on our protest. People we just come come to. To, to 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 voice out their you know make voice out their opinion and make people hear within the talk um and the police decide to begin to shoot they kill and this is a very sad time for our country uh, uh i don't get words i know i don't even know what is waiting to talk but this is a very very bad time for us i mean police brutality based on what we don't see now he did real and he almost this systemic what do you feel say would be the way forward? Because people don't already come out to protest and it already ends in the loss of lives. And people they complain. What do you you feel say would be the way forward now? Well, I feel say we still need to continue to, to, to speak up. You know, we don't need to as we as we continue to the protest, um uh, peaceful protests, which are the best way to, to you know to protest, uh, no arms, nothing like that. You know, we just won't make the government here waiting with the talk, the youth, the, the, the you know, the, 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 the people of Nigeria. Um, we just won't make them treat us better. We won't make we get uh, equal opportunity as those people with the for top. Uh, you know, just things like that. Um, we know the actual too, too much. We just won't make our life better, which we get the resources. We get everything to make sure, say, every Nigerian for, for Nigeria, they, 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 they okay. And I feel, say, we just need to continue to this. We just need to continue to this speak up. Um, hopefully one day, by God's grace, they, you know, God grants our prayers. I mean, and I mean, you be like really important personality. I mean, for People will maybe from other countries. Everybody's supposed to know John Miguel will be. Why it matters, say, you know, public figures like yourself, influencers, celebrities, you know, join their voice, not just even the everyday man on the street. Why is it important, say, everybody join their voice for the matter for which they happen? Well, I, I feel, say, we, you know, we need to speak. Uh, we, need to, we need to hear our, they, they need to hear our voice also, you know, for top because, um, you know, as you say, for all around the world. If you just the journal, it's not BBC. Yeah, BBC. people. Yeah, people know who we be, yeah. and and things like that. So it matters. Say we, you know, say we speak with our social media as well, with our folks. See, we get those small network issue, but um, of course, yeah. I guess I know. Say, if I speak up for here, also people for here go also here, and because people for here know who I be, and in England for London, and they will also help us with putting the go on for, for, for our country. The things and then you know, like UN or United States or or United Kingdom, they feel, come help us to try to make sure, say, we get exactly what we deserve. But um, I think our government need to treat us better, for sure. Um, we need changes. We need to see the changes. We need to see them. Uh, not be only to talk about them. We need to see them. 
Um, so this is waiting. I won't make we make make we get. I mean, I just get two more questions. As for you, you don't ever experience maybe profiling or any harassment from the police anytime you don't do for Niger or even before you become famous as you did like this now. Uh, I know go talk to me, uh, really, but um, um, this now I, I think say our police they need to keep us safe, not be to kill us. They need to they, their job now to keep us safe, uh, their job now mm -hmm. to make sure say when we see our police person for for street, you know, you go make sure say, Oh, I get policeman around me, I be safe now, no, nothing happened to me. Then say we see police for street and we're gonna think, say, Oh, I don't know what thing that happened, maybe he go shoot me or he will kill me, or some things like that. So this now waiting, um, we need to we need to change. Uh, our police need to get better. But uh, I mean, for the people where they protest in Nigeria, I feel their pain. I feel waiting that they go through. Uh, I wish they me I go feel come back home to come follow protest, you know. But you know, because of work, I need to stay here, and you know, I need to work, and uh, you know, uh, I wish they I go get time off to come and you know show my solidarity with the people where they protest and make sure say. Say so I did there with them, and they feel the pain. Obviously, with my time for national team, and this now waiting, and they always fight for. And my players, they know. Say I've always, I, I always fight for them. I always fight for equality. I always fight for people's rights. And I feel say, um, and the, the youth of Nigeria, they need this. They, we need this. We need to. We need to. We need to see change. We need work. We need. We need money for pocket. We need all these things. We need our. We need to feed our family. We need to make sure say we do okay, because our country too big. We too get resor too many resources to 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 the suffer. So these are the changes where we need. And and, and I, I they really happy say this protest is gone. Hopefully by God's grace, we go get something out of them. I mean, now, one day of coffee for Lagos, other states don't institute coffee. If you get one message for the leaders and one message for the people with the street, what that message will be? I just hope say the leaders will stop to the kill our, our youth, stop to the kill people, stop to the kill innocent people. People will just come out to protest and make sure say they, 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 the government. I mean, the, the reason why our government did it is to listen to us, listen to our voices. And do waiting with them because now we put them in, now we put them there. So if they know they listen to us and do waiting we want, then there's no reason. So I feel said they need to listen to us. They need to do waiting we want. They need to make changes. We need changes. That's not what we need. We need to see say people they people they say people they comfortable. And uh, for the protesters, I just hope hopefully I I could continue to the to to, to the play you know continue to protest, continue to speak up, continue to. You know, to fight and make sure say we get everything we want. Hopefully, by those days we get. For those who don't lose their lives, uh, in a very sad, sad situation for the families. We don't lose their their brothers, sisters, everything. Like uh, I don't understand what anybody feel right now. You know, uh, I must know say life for them. Go, they're very, very sad. And I feel the pain. But you know, uh, this is a very, very sad time for us. You know, we just need to continue to to speak up even if through social medias even through any way we will not say we will protest and we will not say we they safe uh, instead of them to the, come to the kill us again and again and again but anywhere where we protest make sure say our voices are heard we will not say we they safe yeah that's the most important thing because to the kill us like this um, you know really make sense at all Thank you very much, John Michael Obi. We do really appreciate it of your time. And of course, we will continue to report the news. Um, and of course, at another time, if you get a chance, we will still continue to talk about what they happen inside the front channel. Also, of course, your career. This will be the in in interesting way to you know, have this conversation, but some things that don't happen for inside Nigeria. We thank you for your time. Thank you. And I beg, my Niger people, I beg. I deal with you now. They feel on a pain. And seriously, um, we will continue to fight for better Nigeria, for the future of our kids, our children, where they grow up. Make sure say we will live a, a better, better Nigeria for them. This is now waiting. I hopefully we go, we go fight together, and we make sure say we succeed. Thank you. Thank you.